New Zealand is currently very lucky to have. Mr Speaker. I call Maureen Pugh. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And I will take a short call on uh, the Families Commission Act repeal bill today in its second reading. Uh, National clearly does support this bill, and the question is why wouldn't we? The former government actually initiated the social investment approach, and uh, I'm very proud to have been part of that regime that took that initiative, Mr Speaker. And I think every one of us knows the stories that these uh, social investment approaches are hoping to turn around. And I take note of the contribution by my colleague, the Honourable Mark Mitchell, and the story that he told. We all know stories similar to that one, where young people are caught in that ever-decreasing cycle of um, habitual and um, soul-destroying dependency on the state. Mr Speaker, this bill has been through the select committee process, um, and I'm confident it was given due consideration, given it had a very shortened report back time. Um, but what it does is actually just repeals the Families Commission Act of 2003, and that just has the effect of disestablishing the Families Commission. The social investment um, approach is all about changing lives and breaking those cycles that we've talked about. And I do acknowledge the current government um, for giving it such high priority and such a high position on the order paper. And I believe that that is because they do understand the importance of breaking those cycles and taking a new approach. Or the alternative is that they simply sat on their hands for nine years and had no other legislation ready to go. But, Mr Speaker, um, the Commission's functions have already started to be transferred, and we have seen that through the um, non-legislative measures that have enabled that process to take place. So some of them have gone to the Ministry of Justice, the Ministry of Social Development and the Social Investment Agency. I think it's time for us to get on and get the job done and I commend this bill to the House. Mr Speaker, I call Greg O'Connor. Uh, Mr Speaker, um, I was uh, privileged to be a member of the Social Services Committee that considered this bill 